In this next presentation, I'm going to show you some soft tissue techniques you can do for the posterior muscles of the shoulder, and that will include the infraspinatus, the teres group. You can also do a little bit around the rhomboids, trapezius muscle, levator scapulae as well. Now, it's quite nice, if I'm honest, to use three fingers, apply pressure, and just simply statically work the tissues. And most therapists and most patients will have those techniques done to them quite often, where you can reinforce. But the idea that I personally like to do is I like to get the patient a bit more involved where we use motion. So what I'm going to get my patient Max to do is with thumbs leading because it's safer for the shoulder and also as he abducts the shoulder as far as he can, obviously we are using certain muscles like the supraspinatus deltoid will, will do that, but then the scapula will rotate in an upward direction and that will be by the serratus, the upper traps and lower traps will do that. And on the way back down, if you're using against the resistance, then the rhomboids will pull it back down. And so will the pectoralis minor and also the levator scapulae. And obviously the lats are involved in adduction with the teres major. Now, so what I'm going to do is, take a breath in please. I am going to glide, doesn't really matter where you start, through the tissues, cross the rotator cuff, the infraspinatus, then into the teres minor, coming down. Okay, so he breathes in, breathes out, and I'm gliding through that. From there, a little bit into Terra's Major with that one. And again, gliding through. It's hard to say how many times. I never say a number. Why? Because you focus on, I've got to do five or ten of these, rather than trying to think what it is you're trying to achieve with a change of a tissue tension. Okay, so... I suggest you perform enough techniques where you perceive a change to the tissues. All the patient's symptoms is reducing and things like that. And that's quite a nice little technique. Now what you can do is bring your arm up please. So from there, take a breath in, pull your arm down into adduction. There's no point saying to your patients to adduct, to abduct and all that because they don't know, generally know what you mean. Okay, but say to them, pull their arm down and pull the arm up. Relax please. Take a breath in. And as he breathes out, continue into the other way. I said start there, and off you go. So the idea of that, so that would be known as an MET, which is a muscle energy technique. And then we would call that a PIR, which is a post-isometric relaxation technique of MET. So we can do that a couple of times. We can contract again if we want to. So gliding through, and that works well because it softens the tissues and encourages natural plane of motion. We can do the same around the rhomboid. Rhomboids would come from C7, uh, T1, comes down, the minor, and then T2 to T5, the major, to the medial border of the scapula, and they will retract the scapula and elevate the scapula, and also downwardly rotate the scapula as well. So from there, we can do the same technique. When you're ready, Max, just slowly lift, and we can glide through that medial, medial border. We will get the lower traps, which I just went over. We will get the mid traps, okay, naturally because it's more superficial. And if I can go slightly deeper, then I will have an effect onto the rhomboid sort of area. And again, working through. We will affect the erector spinae as well from there. Now, that's using the fingertips. One of my favorite techniques is to use the proximal phalanx on the back of the hand. So it's up to you where you start. I can start around the superior angle, around the levator insertion. And when you're ready, I can just glide down. Pressure, okay? Okay, and I can just work through that. From there, I can almost like say to him, pull your arm down, 10, 9, 8. After 10 seconds, take a breath, and off you go again. So we can work again around the rhomboid area, in rectus spinae, from there, around the infraspinatus, the teres. You'll cover the posterior deltoid, which is here as well. Okay, so you can cover the posterior deltoid. As you come in round. I can also control the arm. Let me take the weight of the arm. Okay, so I can control all the movement passively. So from there, I can glide around and I can just control all of it around the inferior angle of the scap because it's obviously rotated now. I can work through. You know, if I find a tender point, I can almost do what we call a positional release. I can hold. 
I can almost like horizontally extend. Let me do it. Until it changes, I can cradle the arm and I can almost cause a compression technique to slacken the tissues in here. And hold for about 60 to 90 seconds. Glide in through. I can even work into a little bit into the lats. Come in down from there. Change my angle slightly, I can come into that supraspine fossa and just work into the supraspinatus. For the supraspinatus, I'm going to bring the arm into adduction because it's an abductor. Okay, so I can just glide through that around. I can even use my thumb. If you're using your thumb, just try not to use the thumb to hyperextend, use it horizontally so you're gliding through the tissue. So I can come into the upper traps and almost lower the shoulder and working down through that. I quite like the passive techniques because I do all the motion. You can have your hand through here, these are quite nice. Glide in down through that. So I will hit a little bit of levator, obviously trapezius because it's the more superficial muscle. I can bring the arm more into, can't really have much motion here, you can see. So I can bring the arm back and just simply horizontally flex the shoulder a little bit in here. Okay, and these work very well. So there you go, some variation of technique using the fingers, yeah, the forearm, a little bit on the thumb, a um, bit about positional release, a bit about MET, but it's mainly more soft tissue techniques using active motion. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation.